Welcome to this episode of TBYT TV, in which we get weight loss motivation from biblical scripture. Today's focus scripture comes from Deuteronomy chapter 30, verses 19 through 20, which says, I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing, all oh, that you would choose life so that you and your descendants may live that you may love the Lord your God, that you may obey his voice, for, that you may cling to him, for he is your life and the length of your days. Now, one of the great things about this scripture is it tells us about the power of choice. Now, birds can only fly south for the winter and salmon can only swim upstream to spawn. But human beings, we have the ability to go north or south, east or west as we so choose. And one of the great things about the power of choice is that whenever you find yourself going in the wrong direction, you can always turn around so that you can go in the right direction. And that's pretty great. In this scripture, God says that he sets before us life and death blessing and cursing. And just in case you're not clear on how the Lord would want you to choose, he says, choose life. And not only that, but he tells you how you choose life. You choose life by loving him. You choose life by obeying his voice. And finally, you choose life by clinging to him. Now, many people, when you say cling to him, a lot of times we think that we should be independent because we don't want to be clingy people. Well, in this scripture, it tells you that the Lord loves clingy people. So if you have a tendency to be clingy, then God loves you for your clinginess. So if you find yourself stressed out or you need comfort, then cling to the Lord because he invites you to cling. Now let's go ahead and talk about some action steps as to how you can apply this scripture in your weight loss journey. The first thing is that think about your earthly relationships. How strong would they be if you did not spend any time with the person that you cared about? If you were just ships passing in the night or you only went to that person when you needed something. Well, our relationship suffers with the Lord if we take that attitude with him. So we want to make spending time with God a priority. And one of the ways that I recommend that you do that is to start your morning by spending a minimum of 10 minutes with the Lord in quiet time. And that quiet time can be spent in praise, in worship, in prayer, and studying his word. Now, that 10 minutes is not a legalistic requirement, but it's more um, to help you to create a habit, a daily habit of starting your morning by spending time with the Lord. So that's the first action step. The second action step is to link your daily choices with your core values. Now, what I mean by that is when you have a strong why as to why you're making the daily choices that you're making, the more likely it is that you will stick with them. So here are some ways or some questions that you can ask yourself to link your daily choices with your vision, your values, and your priorities. The first question you can ask yourself is, how will losing weight and getting healthy, how will that impact my ability to fulfill my God-given purpose. You can also ask yourself, how will losing weight and getting healthy impact the quality of my life overall? And then finally, you can ask yourself, how will losing weight and getting healthy improve the quality of my relationships? Now, I will tell you, that this journey can also improve the quality of your relationship with the Lord. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that losing weight will make the Lord love you more because he's not going to love you any more at a size eight than he does at a 28. 
But what I'm saying is during your weight loss journey, you're going to learn to depend on the Lord at a greater level. So sometimes when we are stressed out or we need comfort, we might be likely to turn to food to give ourselves comfort to relieve stress. And what you're going to be learning on your weight loss journey is how to depend on the Lord, how to turn to him during those times. And you will discover that the Lord is faithful during those times and you will start to build a stronger relationship with him. Now, I know it can be difficult to think of it this way, but a weight loss journey can actually be a blessing because if you use it in the right way, you can strengthen your relationship with the Lord as you come to know him at a deeper level and depend on him at a deeper level than you did before. So that's what we're going to be talking about, or that's what we've talked about here in this episode of TBYT TV. So I challenge you during this week to put these principles into practice and you will be blessed abundantly in your weight loss journey. May the Lord bless you. Thank you.